face that this world has forgotten. What is up, you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another episode of Who Was Really Better. Now, this week we're gonna tackle what I believe are the most solid electric types in the whole game, the being Soul Electric type in Mega Manectric versus Raikou. Now, this matchup is actually a very interesting one, mainly because Raikou for the longest time was unrivaled as the potential Soul Electric typing wasn't unrivaled till actually Generation 6 with Mega Manectric till then. Jolton and Raikou was on par with one another, though Raikou most often than not was a superior between them since it shared similar move pool but Raikou had a broader move pool towards that Pokemon so it wasn't until Mega Manic was introduced and it got some hefty rivalry really and it's up to me to cover their stat move pool and overall theme to see which one of these two really are better but before we go into that, I'm really just going to cover electric typing as a whole, since it's a rather straightforward typing and just define them both and how they work. Electric typing are resisting electric, flying, and steel, and are only weak to ground typing actually, but should definitely be stated that offensively hits resisted a lot of hits towards the likes of being complete immune against towards ground typing, but also does not hit super effectively towards grass type, who usually can tackle letter types really, really, really good. That said though, it is a defensive typing and a rather decent one at that. Usually, sadly, electric type are really bulky and when they are, they usually are actually kind of bad, looking at the likes of Afros and the Porous Electrique, for example. That said though, the main niche here is to soak potential hits and hit hard in return. And this is something that they both do since they both are speedier and a bit more offensive than your regular electric type. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the mon introduced first, being Raikou. So for the longest time, Raikou was actually carved to be the niche electric type legendary. If you don't want to use Zapdos, Raikou was your option. And funnily enough, it actually carved itself quite a niche due to it, mainly because while Zapdos is of course having immunity in ground, it does have a plethora of other weaknesses, while Raikou clearly has a weakness in ground, but doesn't carry the other weaknesses around, making Raikou a bit more flexible defensively than Zapdos ever could be. In this matchup, it does deal with a different kind of meta due to it, and making, of course, Raikou and Manetri really susceptible for this dialogue alone. That said, though, looking upon Raikou's stats, we have a 90 in its HP, 85 in attack, which is fairly high for a potential special attacker. Defense is rather low at 75, 115 special attacks, which is really, really high. Special defense at 100 and speed at 115. So overall, I would say that Raikou, while being offensively super, super caliber, that is a very high speed and special attack, and even a fair attack to be capable and actually be capitalized on, I definitely would say that Raikou has a really good mixed defensive stat, which makes this Pokemon fairly bulky considering what it does represent, and actually are a fairly balanced Pokemon, the only thing that does let it down is its defensive stat, and even at that, with 90 base defense or HP, you really aren't that threatened out that often, making Raikou a really, really good and a very good defensive and offensive threat on the field. Another thing that really is interesting is its ability in pressure, which is something most legendary do get for some reason, I should say. But pressure does cover niche for it, making it since it's bulky, it actually can stall out potential matchups. Which is always interesting, and of course with pressure, you really can go for the subs and whatnot to really, really put a denting power in your opposing team's matchup. That said though, it has a hidden ability that has yet to be available in Inner Focus, though most of the time you're going to go for pressure anyway, since it's very unlikely you will get flinched outside of Fake Out, because you are speedy enough to speed most Rock Slide users in any way, which of course makes for Raikou to be a very, very good defensive pressure Pokemon. But that said though, we really have one broad aspect to fill, and that is Raikou's superb move pool. Raikou has a really good variety in his move pool, making it rather interesting to fill a different kind of role, and this is why it's so high in the meta also, because it does carve itself really, really well. We have the likes of Extra Sensory for a Psychic type move, Discharge, Calm Mind, Thunder, Reflect Light Screen, Thunderbolt, Shadow Bolt, Volt Switch, of course, the likes of Thunder Wave, Bulldoze, Snarl, Single Beam, Iron Tail, Magnet Rise, and also Throat Chop. 
That said though, one really should look upon of course the event mood that was given in generation 5 with of course sadly I should say the rash nature towards it making it not able to outspeed base 100 mods or in level 50 speed time with them so not 115 but 100 as it boosts your special attack and lowers your special defense. But then we got access to the likes of Sap Cannon which is really irrelevant but we got Aura Severe extreme speed and water wall and water ball of course in range as capabilities with sap cannon or thunder really thunder is probably gonna go with it really does make that this becomes a 100 base power water move and of course we're gonna capitalize on a sunny team this pokemon can pull that off too and give me actually a pretty proper fire move based on it or a sphere of course really great or a pokemon can wall it such tyranitar for example who jeff out of the sand stream and of course try to wall it out with Aura Sphere, you feel a really really important nest to Raikou, definitely making it able to hit super effectively. And of course extreme speed, while not necessarily the most interesting part, remember since you cover base 100 with that, extreme speed is really 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 nice. And of course definitely should be stated, 85 base attack is not necessarily that bad, making Raikou a very interesting Pokemon as a whole. Another very cool aspect is that Raikou, due to this matchup, can capitalize on, of course, items, leftovers, call mind, or assault vest really does benefit this Pokemon quite a lot. I really prefer the leftover call mind set mainly because it does allow this Pokemon to be a setup sweeper with substitute, call mind, hidden power, eyes, and thunderbolt. You usually cover your track fairly all right, and of course, in the end of the day, you really just want to spam your stabs anyway. And while hidden power eyes do cover the worst for, of course, the likes of Gliscor that you can be facing in UU, it does capitalize fairly all right, even in OU, due to, of course, the latter's T dominating that tier. But of course, with all this said, Raikou, a very, very good Pokemon, and is whether or not Mega Manetric, which got revisited in Generation 6, really does outperform Raikou at all. So if we're looking upon Mega Manetric, they actually are very similar. They really are in forces that they were defining the same thing. Regular Manetric has a similar stat distribution, but are far worse than Raikou. Mega Manetric, though, kind of enforces that same idea and concept, but with a lot more offensive prowess involved with it. So the HP is 70, 75 and attack, defense are both at 80 and the special attack and speed are at 135, making this one of the fastest electric types in the game and definitely one of the strongest electric types in the game. It makes this Pokemon one of the best private users in the whole game and definitely a bolt turn core since it does hit so hard with the bolt switch with 135 special attack. Yeah, that's gonna sting anything. But it definitely should be stated here, while Manetric here has higher defense than Raikou, it has a less HP by 20 base making it less capable of taking defensive hits and of course the special defense are also lower by 20 base so it's definitely less bulkier but also hits a lot harder. Now when it comes to ability, we can talk about the things that it has before it Mega Ball being Lightning Rod and Static, um, not necessarily the most capable ones though lightning rod is clearly a lot better it definitely can capitalize on that before mega evolving but when we have mega evolve we have intimidate and while that doesn't sound too interesting what that does allow is for priority user to be less effective towards it pokemon such as of course as Zygarde, dragonite and um even Mac Punchers and of course Mammoth Swine cannot necessarily use their priority to be able to pick up a kill versus uh, which does make it for a great uh, revenge killer of anything. Intimidate does allow it to not take as much damage as it could be forced to. While it does have to watch out for the likes of Defiant user in Bishop who can pursue Trap it, one really has to define this. It does pack quite a punch behind it, which makes this Pokemon incredibly well rounded defensively, even if it's not supposed to, and it also makes for a very, very good revenge killer, since it does allow the Pokemon to not be able to KO it in return before they fall themselves. Manetric's move pool, however, is not as vast as Raikou's. We have Electric Terrain, Fire Fang, Discharge, Funnel Wave, Flame Floor, Overheat, Light Screen, Substitute, Funnel Ball, Thunder, Volt Switch, Snarls, Electro Ball, Flame Burst, Eerie Impulse, Ice Fang, Single Beam, Uproar, Magnet Rise, and Laser Focus. Now, there are a lot of these moves actually Raikou gets two, uh, probably, of course, like laser focus and whatnot, but I really just want to enforce this that we have a physical move on Raikou that is interesting, which is Ice Fang and Fire Fang. These are 
way to be capitalized on when we have a matchup that does allow it, making it more towards league of anything when you have a specially defensive Pokemon that actually can tackle with physical hits. All that should be stated here that Raikou has not an accessibility that Manitric has, and that is fire stabs or roll or fire moves while we tackle the weather combination of weather ball uh there's where it all ends manitric has reached we have flame birds capable to capitalize on pokemon that could have carrying potential items and very easy looking at the lights of actually snorlax for example who could potentially wall it out with figure bearing and whatnot being able to burn that yeah that's kind of cool electric ball is really cool also since it capitalizes on speed being able to hit 150 base power if your are that speedy which is really unlikely, but usually you actually hit for the close to, at least I should say, to be able to hit around Thunderbolt damage if it come, doesn't come to one of those really, really speedy or threats, if anything. Another aspect that Raikou gets is Laser Focus and Substitute, but Manitri can use these better, in my honest opinion, mainly because its special attack and speed does force switches, and when you can force a switch, you can actually defend yourself. Laser Focus, forcing a crit, yeah, that is tremendously scary, and also, of course, being walled behind a Substitute to be able to get a free hit is also fairly alright, but as a whole here, Manetric does miss out on Reflect, making able to only set up a light screen, and while it's speedy at that, it definitely should be capitalized on it, that's not going to be one of the better things. Uh, also, Uproar is, uh, the reason I mentioned this area is because many defensive threats usually can rest around this Pokemon to be able to capitalize on stuff like that. Uh, it is a defensive mechanism for Manetric alone, and it does carve a niche for it, but what that basically means is you can wake up any type of rest, sleep, talk Pokemon, and just overall avoid yourself from actually getting spored for a speedier threat or a slower threat that could try to spore you or go for sleep powder. That said though, Electric Train is kind of nice, but doesn't necessarily feel a lot of niches towards Manitrick, but one thing it does kind of resolve is that with Hidden Power, Ice, Fire and Electric combination, you are good to go against almost any matchup, making Manitrick a very, very scary and potential threat, if anything. So what this dialogue comes down to is whether or not if Raikou's overarching theme and bulk really does outperform the offensive proudness of Mega Manetric. And going into this dialogue, I was a bit split about it because I actually think both of these Pokemon are on par with one another and I have a hard time deciding which Pokemon I prefer as an overarching theme towards the matchup itself. But what it all boils down to, in my opinion, is what they resolve as an electric type. Because I think as speedier threats, they are similar. And while the damage output on Raikou could potentially be a lot more harder and more bulkier, depending on your item, since Manetric is out of an item, uh, it really comes down to which Pokemon works as a sole electric type on its own. And here is where I think things get more interesting. Because, as stated before, Raikou's primary function is usually two moves, potentially three moves, Call Mine or Substitute. It can carry Assault Vest and whatnot, and of course, it does have access to um, Differential Move Pool with Extreme Speed, Aura Severe and Weather Ball, and while they're all fine and dandy, it does make it less speedier, which also makes it a lot less reliable as an offensive threat. Mega Manetric, however, has resolvement to all the issues Electric type can be facing, which is that even if you can hit super effectively towards a ground type, usually you can't do the same kind of offensive proudness towards a uh, grass type. We usually are a lot bulkier, which means that hidden power ice, for example, will not be as effective. That means that overheat, flame for flame burst will resolve a whole lot more. And I think this is what this dialogue comes down to. I think Raikou overall has the potential to be a lot better than Mega Manetric is uh, with item and whatnot. It really does stand out to be the super Pokemon here, but it is so forced down by not resolving the grass type issue. It is not resolving its speed here with the broader move pool it can accessibility to, which does make it less reliable as a whole as offensive threat, which is something Manetric is not really having. It is one of the best electric types in the game, and it definitely, in my opinion, are superb to Raikou because it resolved the issues Raikou were having before Generation 6, and these issues have not been actually resolved till Generation 7. This generation, while well, Manetric as a whole, is unrivaled in this area alone. But I definitely will state this, and I'm being completely honest when I say this. Had Raikou had accessibility to Aura Sphere Weather Ball potentially here, 
and being able to have a speed nature or a special attack nature, Raikou would have been a lot better. It potentially would have been better than Manetric. Manetric as a whole really is what I would assume to be the, the ideal electric type, the sole ideal electric type. We have something that can outmatch even the priority user's physical prowess towards it because it's not that fair now. It potentially can become bulky due to this. Intimidate resolve a lot of issues that electric type does have. That is that they are speedier but having lack or a lower bulk. Manetric, while still having these issues due to Intimidate, does resolve that kind of its stance, and, and that really does help out quite a lot. I think Raikou's bulk is very good, and I definitely, like I said it here, had it had accessibility to the whole move pool and being speedier, this dialogue would not be that simple. While I would say that Zapdos, Thunderous are still the best electric types in the whole game, due to actually getting away of the ground weaknesses, it really comes down to what you prefer, and if I had to prefer something, I'll definitely pick any kind of pirate Pokemon like Manetric really is, because it is definitely, in my opinion, the best electric type in the Soul game, and it has to do mainly because it does pirate unrivalry, and the thing that can stop its pirating can be hit super effectively versus it, and that's not a good thing. That means Manetric has very few issues on switch-ins, though it can potentially be offensively walled out, it definitely should be stated here that so can Raikou. So if Manetric solves that better, that only means that it has to be deemed better between these two, making, of course, Mega Manetric my choice of a winner. So yeah, with that said guys, I really hope you enjoyed this matchup. I definitely, like I said it here, I was waving back and forth. I know you guys voted for Raikou to be the winner on Twitter, and uh, I think that's fair. There are reasons for it to be better, but in my opinion, it comes down to what Electrotype really should be. And if we're talking about that, Manetric just results a lot better than Raikou till this generation, of course, ever could. Even with C moves in mind, it's just, it's not there. And I think that's really unfortunate. So, with that said, guys, thank you, of course, for watching as always. And join us next week for this very cool matchup.